the whole thing wobbing. title update this morning guys on Madden and with that title update came some Ring of Honor leaks. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Dave Ortega for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Nota Gang. Also, if you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, you have until Saturday to sign up with only code Zerk to get this Justin Gaethje 0.5 significant strike special. I will be at the fights out in Vegas at UFC 300. Extremely excited to see you guys there hopefully get to see some of you guys did see some of you guys last year at UFC 290. If you guys have not already checked out Underdog Fantasy, as I said, signing up with code Zerk, you will get this Justin Gaethje .5 special. You will also get your deposit matched up to $100, and you will get another .5 special as well, only when you use code Zerk signing up. So make sure you guys sign up before Saturday, before this fight does start. Follow me over on Twitter for my picks. I will have my Justin Gaethje special likely posted up on Friday, and I will have NBA picks later this afternoon. All right, guys, so let's talk about these Ring of Honor League I also want to say shout out to Joker Kale. You can see his gamer tag in the bottom right right there. Uh, he was the first person I actually saw a tweet about this. So shout out to him. He did notice this immediately after the title update, which basically just happened. And if you're wondering, the way to actually get these players to pop up is basically if you go on a Madden Ultimate Team and then you back out, like Eric Dickerson right here who's showcasing, which we will talk about here in a moment, uh, they just seem to kind of rotate through the players. And we already know that with the end of Season 5 here, we have the Ring of Honor promo. It's dropped this Thursday the players get revealed actually tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern and some other key things and I'll tell you guys right now I actually had a prediction video ready to go live this morning I was like literally gonna post it uh, but the time you guys are watching this video I was going to post that video I had two of the players correct, so I'll take that as a moral victory here. But if you didn't know, the Ring of Honor promo was a promo that we got last year. And essentially, the main part of it is the five players, and they are going to be 99 overalls. They're all going to be really, really good, but that's not it. They also have, like, supporting casts, which would be, like, 98s. We get some 94s, 96s, whatever. Uh, but the Ring of Honor, the players that we got last year, we got Lawrence Taylor, Barry Sanders. We had uh, Randy Moss. We had Deion Sanders and Tony Gonzalez. So those were the first five inductees into the Ring of Honor. Uh, we are not ever going to see them ever again as Ring of Honor players, right? We're only going to get new players every year for Ring of Honor. So that's why there's not going to be any repeats. But as you guys can see, Eric Dickerson, we're going to take a look at the five of them and also talk about how crazy these cards can potentially be. But starting off, Eric Dickerson right here. He is one of the first players that pop up. And uh, yeah, this one, this one's going to be scary. I will tell you guys as well, here's some things we don't know. Number one, we don't know what the stats look like, okay? So we don't know what the stats are looking like on these cards. We also do not know about, you know, potential theme team for them. I would kind of doubt that one, but we'll see about that. And also, we do not know if these players are going to get like, you know, crazy X factors that start on and they stay on the entire game. So before you ask Zerk, how much could these cards potentially be? We straight up just don't know enough. So I don't want to give you guys a price estimate because we just don't know enough about, you know, what exactly all these cards are going to entail. Uh, so I really don't know. But as you guys can see right here, Eric Dickerson, he actually doesn't have a card yet this year. So this is going to be his first card this year. And in terms of how good will he be? Well, this is a card from last year. He is 220 pounds, six foot three. Dickerson is always an absolute monster. And if he does have an X-Factor that stays on all game like Freight Train or Angry Runs, he's probably going to be the best running back in the game. He's always just insane. That's Eric Dickerson. Next up, J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt is also going to be really, really good. Now, of course, J.J. Watt already had a pretty good card with the 96 overall Team Diamond upgrade that he got. Uh, this was his first card, actually, in the game this year. But he had a 96 overall Team Diamond champion, 90 speed, 94 excel, 93 uh, finesse move, 96 power move, and 92 block shed. And obviously, it's J.J. Watt. His cards always play really, really good. And going up to a 99 overall, I mean, he's going to be very fast. Obviously, the block shed is going to get a nice little jump there. The power move, the finesse move a lot of it comes down to abilities especially on d lineman though so we'll see exactly what he is able to get but if he's able to get like an x factor of colossus or unstoppable force 
that obviously is going to make him one of the absolute best. And on top of that, guys, because he is the Team Diamond champion, he does have all 32 team camps, which last year we actually had a Deion Sanders who had all 32 team camps from a promo earlier in the year. He also got all 32 team camps in the Ring of Honor. So I'd be kind of surprised if JJ didn't too. Next up, we have Michael Vick coming with the Ring of Honor promo. And yeah, Michael Vick, I will tell you guys, is one player that I did actually have on my predictions of Michael Vick. I thought we'd see Vick here or Tom Brady, and it is Michael Vick. So, obviously so. Yeah, this, this card's gonna be pretty crazy. Now, in terms of stats and release and all of that, well, we do have a cover athlete, 94 overall Michael Vick with 95 speed. So expect this one to be 99 speed, okay? Expect this one to be 99 speed. Uh, the throwing accuracy is all that pretty good. They're gonna be just even better. And obviously on the run, they're just gonna be even better. Now, in terms of release though, he actually has Slinger 1 release, which is not very good for a deep release. It is pretty good short though. So Michael Vick, We'll see if maybe they update his release. If they want to give him like traditional four, maybe that'd be pretty cool. Slinger three, maybe we'll see about that. Uh, but Mike Vick, if you're into lefties, I'll tell you guys right now, I I'm just not good with left-handed quarterbacks. You know, you got to flip the plays that you're used to running, whatever. It just doesn't really work out too well for me. I was never really a big Vick guy when it comes to Madden Ultimate Team. Some people, they pick him up and they absolutely love him. And I understand it, right? He's dynamic. And I mean, the card again, if he does get some crazy X factor, he might be the best QB in the game. After that, another defensive player, guys. We're going to get Troy Palomalu for Ring of Honor. And uh, again, I'll just say this. He was in my prediction video as well that I was going to post. And as I talked about in that prediction video, which you guys will never see now, uh, I will tell you this. I talked about Troy P, how much I love Troy Palomalu cards, even in years where height kind of matters a little bit more. Uh, but Troy P always just plays so, so good for me. He always gets crazy animations, diving interceptions, diving swats, all that good stuff. And Troy P right here, guys, 94 speed, 94 excel, 94 man, 95 zone, uh, 94 hit power, 93 block shade on his 94 overall cover athlete card. And again, this year is a little bit different because height doesn't necessarily matter as much in the secondary. It's more so about having KOs, right? Height doesn't matter as much. You don't really get teabagged because of the KO. So as long as Troy P gets deep zone KO uh, for one AP or maybe, hey, who knows, zero AP would be awesome on this Troy Palomalu. He's probably going to end up making it to my team. I'll tell you that. And the final player, guys, for the Ring of Honor promo is going to be Devin Hester. Now, I'll tell you right now, uh, in my prediction video, I, I did have us getting a receiver, but I thought it'd be Calvin Johnson. Kind of surprised it's not Calvin Johnson, to be honest, but Devin Hester looks like he is going to get the Ring of Honor 99 overall, uh, which, you know, are you excited about that one? Are you maybe a little bit let down by that one? I feel like more people will kind of feel like we could have gotten a better wide receiver. Obviously, Devin Hester uh, will be super fast, but so would literally any other 99 overall Ring of Honor receiver. And Devin Hester here, 5'11", 95 speed, 97 excel in this 94 overall. Uh, solid route running, 92 catch in traffic, and then after the catch ability, obviously really, really good. So this Devin Hester is just going to be cracked after the catch, right? He's probably going to have 99 speed, 99 excel, uh, 99 juke move, 99 change of direction, break tackle will be pretty good. Route running will be obviously already pretty good uh will be even better and then the catching stats as well will be even better so guys those are the ring of honor players as i said we do actually get the official reveal tomorrow night at 7 p.m eastern time on the ea stream yes now we likely know the 99 overalls but uh we still have a lot more cards to know we don't even know the stats on them we don't know the abilities on them we don't know if there's some crazy x factors to get like a theme team chemistry whatever and uh this is not it there are you know also some 98 we'll probably get to see like the field pass all of that stuff so don't feel like it's a complete spoiler of the promo because we know the names, but we don't necessarily know the most important stuff. Uh, we also don't know what the sets or anything are going to look like either. But with that being said, guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Let me know what you guys think about these Ring of Honor players. Are you excited for them? Are you a little bit disappointed? Honestly, I'm pretty good with these. I think uh, Eric Dickerson's going to be probably the new best running back in the game as long as they do get an x factor that stays on michael vick arguably will be the best quarterback in the game troy palomalu will be really really good jj watt will be really really good devin hester still although you know not six foot five will be really 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 good make sure you guys check underdog fantasy use code zerk don't miss out on the justin gaethje exclusive special follow me over on twitter for my nba picks that we have this afternoon and i'll be posting up my gaethje special like i said probably on Friday. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.